I'm here with the stars of my AI movie, The Album, to give you a behind the scenes look of how I made that movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is a link in the description. Most of my AI movies involve two things, a creative expression and a technical challenge. For The Album, I wanted to tell the story of two strangers connecting through a song. The technical challenge for this movie was learning how to use JSON prompting in VO3. I keep hearing how JSON prompts give more control over consistency. Naturally, I was intrigued to learn. More on that later. Or if you're in a hurry, check out the chapters in the video. I usually touch on music at the end of these tutorials, but since the song is the focal point of this movie, I'll start with generating the music in Suno. Sayonara. I knew the song needed to have timeless lyrics because she calls it a classic. I'm not a lyricist, but a month or two ago, I happened to be sitting around a campfire while two people played a duet of the Everly Brothers song, Bye Bye Love. They played it really slowly and I realized how sad the lyrics actually are. So I decided to follow that same goodbye, hello, heartbreak theme. The other advantage of these simple lyrics is even if you don't speak Japanese, you probably know or recognize Sayonara and Konnichiwa. I used Google Translate to turn my Everly Brothers inspired lyrics into Japanese. I pasted those lyrics into Suno and used this prompt for the music style. Suno allows you to cover songs. So once I had a version of the song I liked, I covered it and just changed the prompt in two areas. I removed the 80s reference and turned the vocalist to female. So now I had two versions of the same song, his and hers. Sayonara. But to lip sync, I really needed just her vocal track without the music. In Suno, I can download the stems, which are just the isolated tracks for vocals and music. If I needed to, I could also download the isolated instruments, but in this case, I just needed her vocals. Sayonara, Remember this isolated vocal track because this is what I'm going to use later to lip sync her singing. But before we can lip sync, we need to generate our characters. I wanted to try creating consistent characters with JSON prompt structure. If you don't know what JSON stands for, neither do I, it's not important. The main thing to know is that ChatGPT knows what JSON format is for VO. So I was able to feed my ideas into ChatGPT. ChatGPT then formatted my ideas into JSON prompts. The key to making this work is that you have to first come up with your character description. And to be fair, I did this movie over the course of four weeks, so sometimes I didn't use the exact same character description because it evolved over time. And I'm too lazy to go back and change everything. First, I built the character by providing a few physical details. I got a JSON prompt for that and generated a few videos. Once I had a guy I liked, I took a couple of screenshots and showed ChatGPT the photos and asked it to make a super detailed JSON prompt for his physical description. And then I would just ask for new settings and actions like this guy sitting in a bar or walking down the street or going to a convenience store. This was a scene I eventually cut. I was going to have him buy a candy bar and then later give her the candy bar, but that whole interaction didn't feel necessary to the story. And I wanted to have the cashier be pregnant, but I couldn't get her on the other side of the register. They were always side by side. So it worked the same way for inside his apartment. I'm going to have him looking at records. Now he's placing the record on the player, listening to music in a chair, then standing up. This is what my input to ChatGPT looked like. And this is what I got in JSON format. So if you're not already using a chatbot to help you write prompts, I did a whole video about this as well. And there's a link in the description. I had to do the same thing to create the character for the subway performer. This is what she looked like originally. I gave her bleached choppy hair. 
I tried to give her an Anarchy shirt, but this was as close as I could get. Anarchy is too punk rock for Vio, apparently. Here's an example of how I was getting a consistent character, but her background didn't match the wide shot. It's pretty obvious she's against a wall here and not a corner. So I specified that the subway tiles stretch across the entire frame and a poster hangs over her shoulder. I thought by having a poster there, it would have to put the wall there as well. So I did all of the text to video that way in VO using different tools. All right, so that's how I generated the characters. Let's get her to sing. Sayonara, so when it came to the speaking and singing scenes, I used screen grabs from the video as start frames. Do you remember the isolated vocal track that I mentioned earlier? This is what I used to sync to the start frame to have her sing. It sounded like this. Sayonara, itoshihito. When I edited it, I used the combined vocal and music track, so it sounded like this. Sayonara, itoshihito, konnichiwa, kanashimi. I tried a few different generators this way. One was Kling. I used WAN 2.5 on the WAN.video site which you can generate for free if you don't mind waiting. Oh, and I also tried Omnihuman on Fall. Um, I ended up going with Kling. Konnichiwa, kanashimi. The dialogue sequence is one I'm really proud of. I think people who watch this channel can appreciate what's going on, but I'll break it down. So I had this framing, which I really like, but I wanted her playing the song alone and then he walks into frame. So I used Google's Nano Banana to remove him from the screenshot. Then I did a start frame, end frame animation, so he's walking into the shot. I wanted him to stand there a moment listening before he says anything. So to do this, I used the same frame as both the start and end frame and prompted him to react. I used that frame again, this time as the start frame for a 10 second dialogue with the performer. <laughs> I really like dialogue scenes where the camera doesn't cut between characters, but things change within the frame. This was the initial result. It's pretty good. But I thought, can I get it to do a rack focus? So I used Leonardo AI for this shot. And here's the prompt that I used. I used timestamps to specify both the dialogue and the rack focus. So he's in focus when he's talking, then it rack focuses to her, then rack focuses back to him. I cut to her realization, then back to this shot of him walking away. I used Nano Banana again to turn him around and then did an image to video shot of him walking down the terminal. I took one full year of Duolingo Japanese, which is another way of saying I don't speak Japanese. So here's a fun little hack if you are generating dialogue in a language you don't speak. When I prompted for the dialogue, I wrote it in English and prompted VO3 to have the characters speak those lines in Japanese. Uh, this was suggested by someone in the comments, and it works great. Um, just to be safe, though, I uploaded the generated clip to a new conversation in Gemini and asked for a translation. I don't know if he's actually saying that's an old floor. But if he is, Gemini helped me avoid a really embarrassing mistake. From myself and the cast of the album, we thank you for watching and hope this tutorial helps you make your own movie. I've also got a newsletter, and if you sign up, you'll get an email with a link to the same ChatGPT prompt assistant I use every day. And I'll also send you emails with my thoughts on things that are happening in the world of AI video. And I always like to end on a fun note, so here are some outtakes from the album.
Thank you. Justice. It's a classic. Just a small town girl living in.